text is crucial in drawings to show distances, explain things, fill out title blocks, and so NanoCAD provides two ways to place text in drawings. The annotation panel gives you access to the two kinds of text commands. Single line text, which we'll describe in this tutorial, is for placing single lines of text all over the drawing, while multi-line text is better for paragraphs of text, especially ones that are heavily formatted. When you start the text command, look down to the command bar to see the prompts of how to execute it. First prompt you see is to input the origin of the text. So you simply click in the drawing where you want the line of text to begin. Next you specify the height. You can either show it or enter in a value. I'll type in 90. Then it wants the rotation angle of the text. Usually it's zero, but sometimes you'll want it at 45 degrees, 90 degrees, your choice. I'll press enter to accept the default of zero. And finally, it asks you to type the text. So I'm going to go diam equals 10.0. So now you can press enter to add more text. Rad equals 0 0.5. And then to end the text command, you hold down the control key, press enter, and there's your text. When you need to edit the text, such as change spelling or a value, simply double click on it and then make your change. Here I'm changing the 10 to a 5. You can make other changes as well. Come up to the ribbon, click on the annotate tab, and then in the text section you have a few options. Here's a spell checker. This lets you change the, the case of the text, such as all uppercase, lowercase. So let me select that command, select the text, press enter, and now you have the options. I'll change it to all uppercase. Other commands in the text section include explode. And so you select the text, press enter, and now it's been turned into a series of solids. And finally, here's a command that'll let you stretch the text. So I select the command, choose the text, and now make the text wider or narrower than the original. A more powerful way to change the contents and look of text is to select it and then go over to the properties bar. In the text section, you can, for example, change the text entirely and change the, the height of the text, its rotation angle. So there's 45 degrees. The width factor, let's make all the text twice as wide. The oblique factor, which angles the text, as well as turn it upside down and run it backwards. The font that NanoCAD uses by default is the common Arial font. If you don't want to use it, then enter the style command and then change the font under the font name. When you click, NanoCAD shows you all the fonts that are installed on your computer. And you can choose any other one you want. So for example, I've chosen Noto Serif. Click close and it looks different. Repeat the style command to choose another one. For example, this is an OCR font. You can have multiple textiles in a drawing, each one controlling it, looking a different way. To do so, right click and choose new style. And now you can choose a different font as well as specify the height if you always want the height to be the same. The width factor, for example, if you put in 0.85, that makes the text 15% narrower so you can fit more text into less space, as well as if you want upside down, backwards, or vertical. I'm going to close the dialog box and then to apply the style to some text, I come over to the properties bar and choose the new style. And now we see the text is smaller and in a different font. The good part about the text command is it lets you place text all over the drawing quickly. So we have started the text command again. I'm going to click a starting point, accept the default height and angle, and then start entering in some numbers. So I click, and where I click, I can start the new text, click again, 
put in some other text and just keep on going like that. Press enter twice to stop.